We were in the NICU for uh, four and a half months. 133 days. But who was counting? Flynn was diagnosed with a CCAM, which is a congenital cystic adenomatoid malformation. In layman's terms, it's unhealthy lungs. It's either air-filled or fluid-filled mass in the lungs. Flynn's was termed massive and potentially life-threatening. And to bring him this three-pound, five-ounce baby down to the OR, it's nerve-wracking, but you know it has to be done. You have to sign the consents and put your faith in the doctor's hands. To know that all that we were putting him through was going to benefit him in the long run and make him a happy, healthy kid, then we would have been reassured that our decisions, the decisions that we had to make, were the right ones. I think universally every parent asks, will my baby be normal? We usually say that the baby hasn't really suffered any major consequences and will likely do well, or that your baby has suffered major medical problems that we've had to treat aggressively, and that puts him or her at increased risk for adverse outcomes. But at this point, we don't know, and only time will tell. So feisty. We're working on allaying uh, parent fears uh, by replacing it with knowledge that we'll gain with the baby neck system. This is the a prototype of the baby MEG system. I am now building the, the second generation for infants and up to three years of age. The baby MEG system is a sensitive device that can pick up neural activity. It's tailored to the size of the infant with the sensitivity and spatial resolution to see the brain work in real time. This allows us to actually see which part of the brain is active and how each active area is working and how they talk to each other. And this kind of information is very useful for diagnosing abnormalities and also helping clinicians figure out exactly how to treat these kids. We'll be able to do standard things such as localizing seizure activity, at risk for autism, looking at effects of brain trauma. But in addition, there's a number of new things we can start to explore like start to understand pain in children, trying to understand how to optimize anesthesia, how to optimize our ICU environments. The goal is to be able to tell parents what networks are at risk before they um, are manifest later in life. So if you know your child is going to have a learning disability because we see those networks disrupted, you can get in early with early interventions. But we definitely need much better technology for us to understand the impact of our care on these vulnerable infants. And ultimately, all we care about is to improve the outcome of our babies. And I'm, I'm really certain that this is going to be one great step forward. Good job, Flynn. For someone like Flynn, combining the technology with the skill of the specialist at Children's Hospital just to get answers earlier would make really make a difference. You know, I know that he'll do well. I know, you know, he's a fighter and he's doing extremely well. And, and you know, the folks at Children's have been fantastic. To be who he wants to be, to not have any limitations on who he is. Those are my hopes for Flynn.